What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So I am in the middle of a farm field to give this bad boy a real test. So you're probably wondering why I'm in the middle of a farm field, and I'll tell you why. It's because I wanna test, truly test these bad boys. There's too many speaker reviews being done in people's offices and bedrooms where obviously they're gonna sound good. You're in a little ass room. If you're gonna spend hundreds or thousands on a speaker, I would assume it's gonna sound great in your living room, but that's not where we use it, right? We use it in big applications, bigger rooms, bigger parties, or in this case, in a 100 acre field. So what gave me the idea to do this whole review outdoors is this brand new amp. RCF put a 2100 watt best in class amp in this bad boy and it's 50% more powerful than the other art models, which is crazy to me. And they say it gives you significant more power, not only in general use purposes, but also outdoors. So we're gonna test that out today, people, but before we do, let's give a full tour of this bad boy. So I'll show you the back of this bad boy. It's pretty simple. You got your power and everything down here with your power switch. Up here you have one combo jack. It's an XL and quarter inch combo. Your XLR out. All these jacks are the best possible quality to new trick everything so you don't have to worry about that. And there's three presets. You got linear which you want to run if you're running with a sub. You got boost if you want the full shenanay package. You want the full sound that's if you're running it by yourself which we're going to leave it in now. Or you have stage if you're using it as a stage monitor. And of course your volume's right over there to the right. Peak signal nice and easy. So one of my favorite things about this is their new base motion control. Let me explain what this is. So base motion control is basically this DSP that the engineers over at RCF came up with that replaces the typical high pass filter that they usually put like in the subwoofers to like limit it, right? So like you don't blow the whole subwoofer. And instead it does what they like to call a woofer excursion management system. So essentially it can detect right at the very edge when you're about to blow this thing up and then it limits it. So it allows you to get the full amount of bass out of your speaker at the highest of volumes. Plus they put the reflex ports in a different place which gives it like a wider stereo image and they have these new titanium drivers that are made out of some material that like was developed for NASA rocket ships that is really good with like heat so it doesn't overheat so you can get an even lower crossover rate. This thing has an 800 hertz crossover rate which is super crucial and one of my favorite things with RCF with all their tops because like when I want to get on the mic peak hour of dancing I got music blasting at my wedding, I can get on the mic and I cut through everything and they hear me because of the technology they have built into this. It doesn't sound like there's a blanket over the speaker. And another thing, the whole cabinet was redesigned. It's more sturdy. It is super, super like just stiff and strong. It has a full steel grill that protects all the important stuff. And they really did it with like renters in mind, right? If you rent out PA systems, if you do production, this now is going to be the perfect speaker for you. Every once in a while, I do a destination wedding right and I have to travel somewhere and you know rent speakers and all that stuff and almost always the speakers every rental company will have are the QSC K12s and that's because they're workhorses you can kick those things down a flight of steps and they're gonna work right you don't have to worry about nothing but now you don't have to sacrifice good sound to have a durable speaker you get it all in one with this like they literally designed these bad boys to be rented out to be beat to hell and still sound just as great as they do when you first take them out of the box all right so now we're gonna do the sound test people so this is what I'm doing I got the speaker here I'm gonna hook up my iPhone to it I'm gonna play something off of Apple music right so we're hooking direct in so I have a XLR to eighth inch cable so we're gonna hook direct into it so it's gonna be as raw as it gets there's no like external mixer or anything like that which I highly recommend you always do we're just testing this out just direct test direct into my iPhone and I'm gonna just play a variety of different songs I'm gonna walk a long distance we're gonna test it out and you know see how it sounds from far distances see if this bad boy really throws oh and I cannot mention what's making all this possible right shouts to Jackery batteries animal one of the greatest things I've ever discovered I could do a whole video on this and I probably will but anyway that's what's powering it <laughs> if you want to uh, if you want to I got a link in the bio if you want to check it out anyway let's do the test shall we all right so we're going to do this test with Led Zeppelin because why not here we go make you sweat gonna make you groove <laughs> Gonna make you burn, gonna make you sting. All right, so we're pretty far away, and uh, I can hear it perfect. 
but the sound just started to diminish. Should have brought a measuring stick, but it still sounds fantastic. Let's try a little earth, wind, and fire, shall we? It's ridiculous. So what I'm finding is, is generally when we get to like 500 feet, 600 feet, like two football fields, that's when it starts diminishing a little bit. But like even at here, right, which I would say is about a little over a football field where we're at right here, I can hear it crystal clear. And it just sounds fantastic, you know what I mean? And this is also without a, I'm not EQing it, I don't have a mixer, nothing on it. Like when, when you put it through a mixer, you're gonna get a lot more out of these, and it's only one of them. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just thoroughly impressed with the throw of these things. If you do outdoor parties, anything like that, and obviously indoors, I mean, you're gonna punch everybody in the face. These things are so powerful and crystal clear. And that's the difference. They could be powerful, but do they sound good? Do they sound muddy? Do you hear everything? You know what I mean? And you really do with these things. I just, I don't know. Disgusting. So my conclusion, people, is these things are great. I, it was like a romantic movie for me. I fell in love in the middle of this big field, you know? Like we ran at each other, you know, it was just meant to be. By the way, for those of you that are gonna comment saying, oh, Nick's sponsored by RCF, that's the only reason why he's making this video, blah, blah, blah. I'd like to invite you, okay, to listen to him for yourself. Go to a trade show, ask your buddy if he's got a pair. Ask, like, go to Sam Ash Guitar Center. Find a pair of RCF speakers, okay? Find a pair of these Art 9s in particular, okay? Give them a listen and Please come back and tell me they're not the best speaker on earth, okay? Let me know. I'll be here, okay? I'm not telling no lies. The best speaker you'll ever own. So yeah, prove me wrong, people. I'll be here. In the meantime, I appreciate you all for watching. I'll see you the next one.